Welcome to World Breaker Cool's Reviews. I'm your host, World Breaker Koo, and today I'm reviewing the entire wave of the uh, Ursar Major or Ursar Major wave. So, the bear guy, okay? How do you pronounce it? The bear dude. Uh, somebody's going to correct me in the comments, I know. Um, but, uh, I had this way for a while. I just kind of stopped collecting. Or not, I stopped reviewing for a while. Just kind of got in a little slump. And now I'm reinvigorated um, as more of my items are starting to come in. And, uh, yeah. Going to do some new cool videos up soon. I'm talking about Galactus and a few other things. But uh, this is a cool wave. I originally did not plan on collecting the entire wave. Originally, I only collected, uh, planned on collecting uh, Riri or Ironheart, um, Darkstar, and Ultron. And you know how it is. You get a build a figure, you get a couple pieces, and you're like, oh, snap. This actually feels really good. So I end up getting all of them. So I'm going to start with my, my least favorite out of this entire wave first. And that's the Hologram Iron Man, okay? He's my least favorite. Um, for one, it's a MCU movie figure. Um, at least the design is. You can't tell, but it really is. It's not like a comic book one, to my knowledge. Um, I think this is. I can't remember which Iron Man uh, figure this is from, but it's okay. It looks cool. I use it for like the Iron Man that helps Riri in pictures, you know, things like that. So it's kind of cool. I do dig it. Um, but this is something I never would have bought. Like, I wouldn't even have gotten this on clearance if it was like 10 bucks, maybe five bucks. Okay. Yeah. Five dollars. I would do that. But of course I paid full price for this because this, this one had the head. So that was even worse. Um, and as usual, um, he comes with two effects. They're both blue, like, you know, repurpose the blast. Riri Williams has the other one right there. Um, but it's cool. You know, it's not bad. I'm not going to hate on it. Um, and if you got some lights going on, you can actually get the thing to, well, there we go. If you got some lights, you can kind of get the thing to pop a bit more. See what I'm saying? So yeah, um, all in all, it's a decent figure. Um, if I get a score out of 10, I'd give it a six. Um, just because, uh, it, it is a bit of, of a dated figure. Um, does have two, you know, extra hands which is nice but we're gonna leave it there okay so one guy out of the way okay and from there shockingly i actually kind of dig this figure and let me make sure i don't move, mess his name up this is the vault guardsman i don't know much about this guy i'm not gonna lie and tell you i do um, but he's clean he's clean as hell um i did not expect this to be an actual overlay um so that's cool i mean he's shiny got some nice paint on him uh, only comes with a gun and a couple of fist hands, fisted hands. Um, but again, I'm not going to spend much time on this guy because it's a Marvel Legend figure. You probably know what to expect from this guy as far as articulation. I will show you the heads because the heads can be different from figure to figure. He can't look up much. He can look down a little bit more. Um, there's an overlay working in overdrive, but he's just a clean figure. I can see why people like... like um, like uh, ar army build these. If I had like four of these, that would be really cool. I'm um, going after Iron Man or doing some other crazy stuff. So I dig him. I mean, for what he is, I'd give him a solid seven. He is a fun figure. Um, I probably would have picked him up for sure for like seven dollars, something like that. So, but not full price. And of course, I did. Now moving on to the figures that I really like. Okay. Now I shouldn't like Dark Star, but she's up next actually, um, as far as which figures I like. Um, I love the face sculpt. Okay. If I can focus on it. Man, it's not focusing. That's weird. All right. So her face is dope, but for some reason, my camera's having a hard time focusing on her face. That's weird. Let's try one more thing. Maybe if I have this behind her. No. She just got that type of face, I guess. You know what? Let's do this. There. I got it recording again. So, 
yeah, um, pretty face, um, tired of this body, but her face and her hair really nicely shaded, um, got a little bit of dunk there, not too much, a little bit, you know, to make your man happy, um, she comes with, uh, two fist hands, and two grabby hands, why she's grabbing, I have no idea, she doesn't really have anything to hold, um, but, the paint's decent, so I give her a 7.2. She's like slightly better than Vault's Guardsman, but she really suffers by not coming with accessories. I luckily had a yellow version of these from Havoc, I think, and I just put them on her, and they look actually pretty decent. So um, She definitely should have come with some better accessories, some effects, because that's what she does, but they had her packed in with the Big Bear, so there was probably not much budget. Move right along to my top three. Um, Stealth Iron Man, for show. Sure. If you look up there, I've got the 80, 80 years Iron Man there, and this is the same body, so it was a no-brainer I was going to get this. Um, it's just the stealth version of it, um, and I know some people had trouble with the, the waist here breaking. Uh, mine, knock on wood, has been fine. I hope it stays that way. He comes with the two nice red effects, which I love, and two fisted hands, but this is just a really cool buck, so it looks really good. Now, just for kicks and giggles, I'm going to bring down the 80-year Iron Man so you can kind of see what's going on here. And let's move over here. There we go. So you can see it's the same exact figure we already got, just different colors. Um, he does come with a head, and it is actually different. Let me put this head on. I mean, at least it looks different to me. Maybe I'm just crazy. You let me know in the comments. If this is not the same head, I'm just losing it because that could be it as well. And now that I look at these, I'll be damned. Is this the same head? It looks like this one has darker eyes, though. The hair is the same. No, that's the same head. It's painted differently. Oh, well, my bad. Same head. Okay. But either way, uh, this figure is definitely nice. It feels weird. And yes, mine had some white substances on it. Well, there's been reports of people having white substances on theirs, and I don't know different. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what they're doing at Hasbro over there, but somebody needs to drink some prune juice or something. I don't know. Um, overall, I really, really dig the colors. I dig the effects on this suit. I would give this an 8.5. I mean, hell, it's, it's, just, it's a good one. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Get out of here, Iron Man. So now we are at the end of the line with the top two figures of this wave before the middle figure. And that is Ultron. And he comes with uh, a, a, an assortment of actual hands. He comes with a fisted hand, an open wide hand. And when I say fisted hand, he comes with actually two fisted hands. Okay. He comes with an X, one open wide hand, and one open wide hand I think that he can use to put his effect in. So this comes out. This is actually another accessory. See? Kind of weird, but it's nice to have. You know, So he can just put it in here, if I can get it in there. Well, you know what? I'm making things a lot harder. It's just what I always do. You know, My wife tells me all the time, you're making things harder. Um, and yeah. You can hold it like he's grasping some power. So that's cool. So I dig that. So Iron Man, or excuse me, Ultron is, this is the only old school Ultron I have. I will show him and compare him to my MCU version. But his his, his paint is really nice. Um, he can, he's got some nice bend. He's bent about the knees. Does not have butterfly joints at all. But I don't feel like he needs them. He's just a clean guy. And I dig it. Let's get him next to MCU Ultron for kicks and giggles. Okay. So here he is next to MCU Ultron. And MC Ultron's much bigger. But I must say the paint is actually better in this version. I like how shiny it is. This one's fine with the marbleization and the red stuff. But I like the paint better here. They're very much so two different Ultrons. Um, and I'm glad I have both of them in my collection. I hope we get a an a space or a annihilation uh Ultron. So we'll see. Now for the last figure of the wave. This is my favorite figure of the wave. 
um, besides the middle finger. And that's Riri Williams. And you can see she comes with some effects to keep her blasting in the air. See those uh, at smoke and the holes blast? Looking pretty good. Uh, let me get her on down. So yeah, she's definitely, she, and again, she's still, she does not come with this effect. I put that in there cause, so she can fit normal effects, but her blasts are a little bit smaller. Um, the smoke looks pretty good. So I do hope we get to see more of these in the future. Um, but she's a character I am familiar with because I, I read comics still and everything. She took over for Iron Man for a while. So that was cool. But the book they put this figure on is impressive. Sorry about that. That was my wife who interrupted the review because she didn't know where our son was at. And he was in here watching me do a review because he actually wanted to see what I do. So, yeah. So anyway, Riri Williams. Um, this book, um, if you do not have this Iron Man or Iron Heart or figure, um, I think you should take a chance on it, even if you don't know the character. Because it's just really extremely well made. Um, the last Iron Man that I had this much fun with was the uh, Invincible Iron Man. The one that was like uh, in the name, not Namor way. It was like Namor and, well, let me just show you. The last Iron Man I had this much fun with was that one right there. So, yeah, she's dope. She's dope. She's very dope. And honestly, like she's... She's definitely worth the money. Uh, she's got the double on it, a uh, double, uh, double jointed elbows here for a female figure. I mean, look at that! Look at that, man, bruh. The paint slick. It's nice. The gray here on the uh, down here kills it. It just gives it so much depth. The the helmet, everything about this figure, I just have really, really liked. I love posing this thing. I've done a lot of poses. And look, check this out. So if she is flying, which she probably would fly like that, she'd probably fly like that. She can get her head up a decent amount. I thought I had more than that, but I guess not. So it's not a super amount, but she can kind of, you know, fly backwards and still look pretty sweet. Um, also, her head, her regular head is really nice. There's her dumbbell joint. And here's how she, her head looks. Come on, come on. There we go. So, yeah. That is nice. Look at that. Guys, I mean, seriously. I mean, it just looks so realistic, you know? Or at least, or animated, you know? It's just, it did it, got, it has so much character. And give, don't get me wrong, I'm not an R and Hard fan. I don't own one comic of her by herself. I, I get a lot of the team stuff, but that's it. So they killed it, okay? Flat out killed it. So this is my favorite standard figure of the wave. Now, like I said, I didn't plan on getting this entire wave. So you have to know that I got the build figure. If I get the build figure, it's probably my favorite figure. And it is. It is right here. This thing is just amazeballs. So he's a lot of fun. He's big. He's brown. His hands. I know some people hate the hands right here like that, but it doesn't bother me. You can get them in all fours, which is cool. I wish his head could move up more because then I can get this guy some bear poses. But he's even got abs on his fur and his belly. He's got like a pot belly thing. His back looks good. He's just a freaking phenomenal beast. The claws are nice. Um, the paint on the claws is nice. The paint on the mouth is nice. I mean, look at the head, the nose, the shading. Like, this is definitely one of my favorite Marvel Legends of the year, um, just like Riri. So, this was overall just a fantastic way. And by the way, Riri gets a 10. Um, Ursar Major, uh, the bear guy, whatever. I'm going to say his name wrong. My bad, my bad. But he's also getting a 10. Um, I just don't know how much you can really make him much better, except for the hands. And have that neck shift a bit more. But I don't care. I'm giving him a 10. The last thing I'm going to do is put him in with some more furry friends just so you guys can see he's not using the same body. So give me one moment. All right. As you can see, he's not using the same body. Um, he's clearly brown. This guy's like a reddish brown. Why is he doing that? Sorry, my camera's acting crazy. Different color browns, different uh, fur, different chest, their bodies, the arms are different. They are they are not the same at all. Not one single bit. So... 
just so you all can see. Um, Size-wise, I think that's fine too, okay? Um, Wendigo is about the same as well, okay? Um, so, yeah. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed this wave, um, and I hope you all did as well. I'll be doing much more videos soon, so I appreciate you watching. And uh, hit a like if you don't mind, or a dislike if you disliked it. You know, either one, it still helps. Thank you for watching. And until next time, peace and bear grease.